Oh, hello! Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to my channel. And as you recall, in the last video, I fixed the fire damage on this little smart car and it started up perfectly. And in this video, I'm gonna attempt to make all the plastic parts out of carbon fiber. Okay, so guys, I still haven't put the bumper and so on back that I took off after I repaired the fire damage on this car. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking off these plastic door outer skins and also the whole front section of this little car. I'm going to be removing that off the car. Then I'm going to move the car out of the way and put my broken pieces of plastic on the ground so that I can assess how I'm going to be tackling this project. Okay guys, all of the panels are off now and it took only a few minutes, but man, are these plastics brittle. If you just touch it, they just shatter and break apart. But because I'm a smart fan, I'd rather say that these plastic panels are biodegradable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a panel at a time, put it on my table, and then I'm going to glue all the cracks down just to get these panels to more or less back to into the condition that they were in. And then we can move on to the magic and start with the carbon fiber work. Hey guys, so I've now finished fixing all of these parts and bonding and gluing all the cracks together and gotten super glue all over my hands and something cool that I just want to share with you guys is whilst I was gluing these parts together you might have seen me using this very suspicious looking uh, white substance and that is nothing other than some bicarbonate of soda and I just used that when I put, pour some super glue on the cracks and I just drip that or drizzle that on top of the super glue and it helps the super glue bond much faster and gives it a very very strong bond. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the parts over and clean the insides and then I can cut a couple of strips of fiberglass and just reinforce the insides of all of these parts that got cracked so that it won't break again. And then I can swap it over and sand down the outsides and then we can start with the carbon fiber work.
Okay guys, I have now spent a couple of days sanding down all of these spots that I had repaired with the fiberglass and the super glue and these parts are now ready or theoretically I could now put some primer on these parts and paint them and put them back on the car and they should be 100% but that's not what we are going to do I'm going to attempt to cover all of these parts with some carbon fiber now guys the reason why I'm putting the carbon fiber on these parts is because it's gonna look very pretty aesthetically and secondly it's gonna make these plastic parts much much stronger and hopefully avoid them from ever cracking or breaking the way that they did so the stuff that i'm going to be using to skin these plastic parts is that big roll of carbon fiber it is genuine carbon fiber weave and then i'm going to be using some of the epoxy there are two types we've got the base coat epoxy resin that's going to go underneath between the plastic and the carbon fiber and then we've got the large epoxy that needs to go on top of that to make it nice and shiny now guys you need to weigh off these epoxies with the catalytic catalytic with the catalytic with the catalytic you need to weigh off these resins with the hardener to an exact amount and for that i'm going to be using this digital scale and weigh it off and mix it nice and thoroughly so that it will dry and hard exactly how it should so how i'm going to be going about doing this is i'm going to attempt to do a couple of pieces at a time i won't be doing all of them at once but at least i'm going to give it a go at doing a couple of piece, pieces at a time just for time management's sake and what i'm going to do first before i wet off any of these parts is i'm going to be cutting the carbon fiber weave so that it'll fit over these parts with a little bit of access on all sides and then i'm going to put the weave aside and i'm going to mix up some of that base coat and then wet down these parts where the weave is going to go and what i'm going to do then is wait for it to dry and as soon as it is touch dry but still leaves a fingerprint so it's not bone dry but touch dry i can put the carbon fiber weave on top of that and after that i'll be able to put some of the resin on top of that now guys the thing about carbon fiber is that it is very very hard to work with it it, it acts very differently to fiberglass it doesn't stretch or anything like that and those weaves really just want to fall apart so the thing is you need to be very very careful when you put the carbon fiber on top of that base resin that you've put down on your part and not try to move it or shift it after you've put it down you can only put it down once if you try and lift it off it's going to unravel that piece of carbon fiber completely and ruin it so you only get one shot at it and that is the reason why i'm only going to be doing a couple of pieces at a time so i can stack my time and make sure that i lay them down properly and then we can take it from there and put some resin on top of that but let me give that a go and we'll see how it goes
Okay dudes and ladies, it is now time for an update. I have now put a layer of resin on all of these plastic parts and then covered it with a layer of carbon fiber weave with the help of my lovely assistant aka my wife and try to make as little mistakes as possible laying the carbon fiber weave on top of these plastic parts. And what I did then was I used some masking tape and where it was important I just folded over the edges with the masking tape so that the carbon fiber would go over all of the edges where it is important and then I put a layer of resin on top of all of the carbon fiber pieces to make it nice and strong. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my grinder and I'm going to trim off all of these edges of carbon fiber where it's sticking out and then sand it down a little bit and then I can put another couple of layers of resin on top of that and it will start becoming nice and smooth and eventually I'll be able to sand it down and put a layer or two of clear lacquer on top of that and it should be shiny. Now guys the thing is that I very much like this texture that I'm getting from the first layer of resin that I put on the carbon fiber. It looks very nice and industrial to me. I don't know how you guys feel about it but I am a big fan. And what I think I'm going to be doing now is I will be taking these quarter panels, these four panels, and just trimming off the edges and putting another very light coat of resin on top of that very, very lightly just to seal it off. But I'm going to try and keep this texture because I like it a lot. So the four quarter panels are going to have this rough industrial looking texture and then the rest of the panels I'm going to make nice and smooth. And if I don't like what I see and how it comes out, I can just put another couple of layers of resin on top of that and make it nice and smooth. Any guys, I'm going to continue with these parts. Hey guys, this is exciting stuff. I have now finished sanding down all of these panels. It's time for me to put some clear lacquer on these carbon fiber panels to bring out the shine. And guys, I've decided that I'm going to take this bolt up even one more notch by tinting some of these panels in a blue color so that the carbon fiber will look as if it is a blue color. So what I've done, what I've done is I've bought this cherry blue paint it's rather expensive, I must add, and that will basically just tint the carbon fiber. So you lay it on there and it'll be like a little blue film that'll still make the carbon fiber pop through. And I believe that that is going to look very, very pretty. And if Tavares could do it with his million dollar McLaren, then I'm sure that I can try it with this little smart car. So this is going to be the first time that I attempt something like this. But I'm very excited because I believe that it will really make these parts pop and look beautiful. And that is a 2K color. In other words, you put a hardener with it and it becomes very, very hard. And then I've got some 
clear lacquer also that I'm going to then paint over all of the other parts including these ones that I'm going to tint in a blue color. So let's give that a go and see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, I've now finished with all of the panels and I've given them a light sanding and polishing and it's time for me to install it. But before I do that, I just want to make these headlights nice and shiny again. And I want to share with you guys this awesome hack that I saw somewhere on, I don't know, TikTok or something. And at first I didn't trust it at all, but it works like an absolute charm. So what you do is first thing is you just sand down your headlight with some 1200 grit sanding paper just to get it nice and even and get rid of all of the scratches and so on. And then you take a little bit of acetone and you put it in a bottle that you can squeeze and I just put this piece of fuel line there as a means to aim it and then you heat up this acetone. I got a bowl full of boiling hot water down there heat it up and then you can see the magic happen let me just put this thing on the tripod and i want to share it with you guys because i think that just about every single person that's ever going to have anything to do with a car is going to love this so what i do now is i heat up this bottle of acetone in the boiling water and when it's hot enough check this magic i just squish this bottle and it becomes crystal clear how freaking awesome is this guys I had so many issues in my life trying to polish these plastic head headlights and now life has just become easier so I just heat it up every now and again and as soon as it reaches temperature I just pump the plastic and how freaking cool is this guys Man, I love it. So in any case, I'm going to continue with this headlight. I've already finished that one. And then I can install all of these parts. But I'm not going to bore you with the time lapse of me doing that. So in the next scene, we're going to see what this car looks like completed. Nice. Hey guys, there we go, done and dusted like some random person once said. And this car is looking absolutely phenomenal. I'm very, very, very happy with the results. The blue looks awesome. It looks so stunning. When you look at the car from afar, it just looks like a muted blue. But if you come up close, you can see the carbon fiber sticking through and it just looks gorgeous. Still got some cleaning to do on the car. But apart from that, it is looking beautiful. And I'm very, very happy with it. This little car's plastic panels was looking sad. And now it is looking like a million bucks. I'm still a little bit on the fence on the quarter panels. They came out exactly how I planned it to come out. But I'm not 100% sure whether I like it or not. But I think it's going to grow on me. Apart from that, this little car is finished now. It was a fun little project that didn't take too long. In actual fact, it was only like a couple of weeks and the most time was spent waiting for resins to dry so that I could then sand it down and put some more resin on it. So that's going to be it for this video guys. Next week I'm going to start with the Jaguar. And I know that many of you guys are super anxious to watch and follow that car's progress. So I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Cheers!